Hey everybody, it is Charlie Unicorn here, and I have gone to many sex clubs. I have gone on many big detailed theme nights where there's lots going on. And if you are familiar with my channel and some of the playlists I've got on here, you've seen a lot of those stories. It is no secret that I have gone to many DTF nights, which are known for uh, women who like multiple men. DTF stands for down to, mm -mm, you know, can't say that on YouTube. Um, but basically it's a very heavy themed night for lots of people to be involved all together. Lots of women like to take on groups of men at the same time. A lot of men come there and they join different groups like getting bags, right? Like one there, one there, one there, um, bukkake, things like that. So as an orgy director, somebody who has gone and actually helped people fulfill their fantasies on multiple occasions, I have very little things that shock me nowadays. And there was still one thing that shocked me still, and I still talk about it today. And it was when I was sitting in the red room, the orgy room at Oasis Aqua Lounge Sex Club in Toronto. And I was trying to, you know, get the crowd ready of guys um, before my female gangbang queen was ready to take on the men that she wanted that night. And so I had about five, 10 minutes. And so all the guys were kind of waiting around and I started talking to them and I started going in around in a circle and asking people to participate in a game of intrusive questions. Now, this is the shocking part. It was a Tuesday, it was a DTF night, which is gangbang theme night. Now, the question I asked everybody, including the women, but also the, all the men, was what are you actually looking for tonight? What would you be hopeful for tonight, right? And I thought at least a couple or many would say the theme of the night, gangbangs, DTF, right? No one, zero, zero men uh, said that they were there to be part of a multi-man scene. Uh, they were willing to be, obviously, because, you know, they were even auditioning for the scene I was about to run. But one of them said he wanted to cuddle. One of them said he was looking to make out. One even said he was looking to hold hands. Um, another one said, you know, like, I'm looking for sex, like, whatever, right? Um, but no one, none of, the, none of the men said, I'm here for a gangbang. I'm here to be one of men, you know, one of many men with a woman. None of them said it. Now, when I went and asked the women, some of them said that, oh, I want sensual sex, you know, with one-on-one. -on -one. Another person said that they wanted a bit more, you know, rougher play with uh, with a guy or maybe two guys. But again, none of the women that were there that, that when I was asking said that they wanted a gangbang either. So it made me really think if neither party, men, women, and everyone in between, obviously, I'm trying to be respectful here is not being out loud honest about what they actually want. A lot of people are people pleasing themselves into a gangbang that maybe neither of the people actually want that, but that's what they think everybody's there for. What does this tell me? It tells me that if people were just honest and said, you know what, I, I know it's that theme night, but I'm actually here for foot rub or I'm here to, you know, have some intimacy with someone, you know, whatever. Um, it's okay because what I've learned is that the people who show up on these theme nights, yeah, they're willing to engage in the theme, but if you actually ask them what they want, some of them want something entirely different. And uh, the last thing I would want is to see a bunch of people join a scene because they think that everybody else wants it. And instead they could have had a cuddle party and everybody would have been happier. Uh, one of the things that I've learned as an orgy director is not everybody wants an orgy. Not everybody is ready for a giant pile of that, right? Some people just want a touching puddle, like a pile of people who are like caressing each other and just feeling people's bodies. No, no oral, no whatever. I've, I've run a scene like that, right? So not everybody is looking for the hardcore stuff. In fact, if you ask people, if you actually ask people, you might be shocked to see what they say. So I had to pass that along because as an orgy director at these clubs, there's very little that shocks me. And when I realized that we're all kind of just there looking for our own different thing and don't be afraid to speak up and, and ask for what you want, even if it's unique, because you never know who's there to like fulfill your fantasy that night. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my page and uh, I've also got a fan page you can check out as well as some Amazon storefronts and I do get affiliate income uh, commissions if you buy something. So check out, I have a lot of lists on my Amazon storefronts. Uh, I have like, for example, guys, if you don't know what to wear to a swinger club, I've actually got lists of like men's clothing that's like suitable for most dress codes. So things like that, like my lists on Amazon are actually meant to be really helpful, educational, and it's a good way for you to support my channel. So uh, TorontoUnicorn.com has all links.